Nine Poles God of War As soon as Nye Tian stepped into the cave, he felt a bone-chilling aura rushing toward his face. This aura is stronger than the Ice Snake King. Could it be the Ice Snake Emperor? Nye Tian's heart sank, and the icy aura in the cave was stronger than he expected. The Frost Snake King is one level higher than the Frost Snake King, his strength is comparable to a Third Order Spirit Beast, and his combat power is equivalent to that of a Vintian Warrior. However, in a cave, a Frost Snake King and a Frost Snake King appeared at the same time. Is it possible? Thinking of this, Nye Tian was even more puzzled. He walked forward cautiously. Fortunately, the cave was not big and the light was not too dark. Soon, Nye Tian walked to the innermost part of the cave. He looked around and found nothing unusual, but found that there was a snake egg the size of a fist lying in the middle of the cave. Ice Snake Eggs Nye Tian walked over and picked up the snake eggs. The expression of horror on his face became even greater. The snake eggs are in the color of clear ice crystals, exuding an unusually strong icy breath. What a powerful icy breath! Nye Tian frowned as he looked at the snake egg in his hand that was exuding a trace of cold air. Mutated. Nye Tian was horrified and immediately thought of an explanation. Spirit beasts mutate, very rare. No wonder there is only one snake egg. It turned out to be a mutated snake egg. This is lucky. Nye Tian looked at the snake egg and smiled happily. The Ice Snake King usually lays dozens or hundreds of eggs at a time, but this time there was only one snake egg, which was the reason for the mutation of the snake egg. Little guy, I'm waiting for you to hatch. I don't know how powerful your mutated ice snake will be. Nye Tian was a little excited. He knew that mutated spirit beasts are generally very powerful, but the mutated ice snake has not yet come out of the shell, and the icy breath is already comparable to the ice snake emperor. I don't know how powerful it will be after breaking the shell. He guessed in his heart that this mutated ice snake can at least reach the level of a fourth order spirit beast. If it grows up in the future, it will be the strength of a warrior in the giant spirit realm, which is very terrifying. Nye Tian just as Nye Tian put away the snake eggs and was about to walk out of the cave, Emo Rushi's scream suddenly sounded in the canyon. Nye Tian sensed three powerful auras, his face changed suddenly, and he hurriedly ran. Within the canyon, three men in black suddenly appeared, looking at the corpses of the Scarlet Flame Tiger and the Ice Snake King with gloomy faces. The battle between the second level spirit Beast Qianhu and the Ice Snake King, no wonder there was such a big commotion. The two were equally powerful, and they both died together. It's interesting. One of the skinny men in black said playfully, and at the same time fixed his eyes on M.O. M.O. Rushi. Little girl, obediently hand over the spirit cores of the Scarlet Flame Tiger and the Ice Snake King, and then take care of the three of us brothers comfortably. Maybe if our brothers are happy, we can spare you from death. He. <laughs> Another fat man in black wretched smile. Second brother, third child, we have something important to do. We will leave as soon as we get the spiritual core. This little girl, just kill her immediately. The leader of the man in black spoke in a hoarse voice, very intimidating. Boss, kill it directly. Wouldn't it be too cheap for this little girl? I haven't touched a woman for several days. Give me ten minutes, and it will be over soon. The fat man smiled and approached M.O. Rushi step by step. The flesh on his face trembled with excitement. You, what do you want? Emo Rushi backed away with a pale face. The three men in black are all Yuanling warriors, and they are far from being able to deal with Emo Rushi. What are you doing? The fat man chuckled and said, Little beauty, you will know how powerful the fat brother is later. I promise to let you die comfortably. Third brother, I'll give you ten minutes. The boss of the man in black didn't seem to want to watch the next scene, so he turned and walked out of the canyon. The third child, everything else is good, but he is too perverted. If he could put more thought into his cultivation, he would have already been a second-level Yuanling warrior. The thin man in black also sighed and walked out of the canyon. He, Thank you, big brother and second brother Chang. 
The fat man laughed loudly, and without hesitation, he stretched out his fat pig hand and grabbed Imo Rushi. No. Imo Rushi retreated instinctively but bumped into someone. She turned her head and saw that it was Nye Tian who had just walked out of the cave. Nye Tian. Seeing Nye Tian again, Imo Rushi burst into tears and threw herself into Nye Tian's arms. Nye Tian hugged Imo Rushi lightly and looked at the wretched fat man coldly with murderous intent in his eyes. Where did you come from? How dare you ruin fat grandpa's good deeds? Hurry up and get rid of fat grandpa. Fat grandpa is comfortable playing, and I can spare you a life. The fat man just glanced at Nye Tian and immediately saw that he was Yuan Yuan. Pulse Jiuzhong's strength didn't take him seriously at all. Nye Tian smiled coldly and said coldly, You want to spare my life, but I have no intention of letting go of your pig's life. He. The fat man finally took a real look at Nye Tian, reconfirmed Nye Tian's strength, and couldn't help laughing. A kid with a ninth level Yuan mind wants to kill fat grandpa. I think you have no milk teeth. I want to gnaw bones when I grow up. You are very lucky today, and the fat grandpa is in a good mood. I will give you three seconds to disappear from my eyes immediately, or you will bear the consequences. The fat man didn't want to kill people for fear of ruining the beautiful mood and atmosphere. Nye Tian squinted at the fat man, raised a finger, and said calmly, Just one move, and I want your pig's head. Nye Tian was angry now, really angry. A mere scum of the first level of Yuan Ling is so arrogant, it's unbelievable. Stinky boy, you're tired of working. Fatty was scorned and immediately went into a rage. His body swelled up with a powerful aura and a phantom of a bristly porcupine loomed behind him. The bristly porcupine is Fatty's spirit. Although there is only a difference in the strength of the Yuan Mai ninth layer and Yuan Ling first layer, the gap is insurmountable. Although the first level warriors of Yuan Ling have just awakened Yuan Ling, they can already use the power of Yuan Ling, and their physique is several times stronger than that of Yuan Mai warriors. It is no exaggeration to say that Yuan Mai warriors want to challenge Yuan Ling warriors, it is simply three words, impossible. However, what Fatty met was not an ordinary Yuan Mai warrior, but the rebirth of the former number one god of war in the Heaven Realm. What is impossible for others is very easy for Nye Tian. Porcupine Fury Fatty didn't want to waste time on Nye Tian, so he threw all his strength into the first punch, using Yuan Ling's power, and punched Nye Tian. The strength of this punch is seven or eight thousand caddies, and it is difficult for even ordinary Yuan Ling warriors to resist. But Nye Tian didn't even look at the fat man, there was no fear on his face, but extremely calm. Nine Extremes God of War Art, God of War Emperor Fist Nye Tian's body was shaken, and the surging Yuan force surged out, and immediately he punched the fat man hard. Nine Extremes God of War Ju, this is the supreme martial art practiced by Nye Tian in his previous life. The reason why he was able to become the god of war in the heaven realm was because of the Jiuji god of war art. This was the first time he used the nine extremes god of war art after his rebirth, and the powerful power erupted in an instant, and it was not something that a small scum of the first level of Yuan Ling could stop. Boom! As soon as the god of war's fist was released, the domineering aura of the god of war was immediately revealed, and the aura of destruction was unstoppable. The fat man didn't even utter a scream, and his fat head was blown away by the fist of the god of war. As expected, Nye Tian did what he said. With one move, he took the fat man's pig's head.